hello everyone i hope you all are doing well today in this video uh, i will share my ncbs first round interview experience for the integrated phd program in biological sciences uh, ncbs national center for biological science as i have mentioned in the previous video after you uh, qualify the tfs eligible exam you have to submit a full application and in that application you have to write several things uh, your academic background your achievement awards uh, your scholarships and along with that you have to write a basic fundamental experiment related to biological science and if you have to follow up that experiment what new experiment you would perform now if you simply write uh, you will see if you simply change the name of some molecules like uh, there is a x or y molecules which you know that it functions uh, in a particular pathway and you find another molecule with the same function and you propose that uh, uh, or changing these molecules with this one may result in this success may result in the success of this pathway now this kind of works they don't like uh, they generally prefer a fundamental experiment as well as the new experiment uh, you are uh, you are proposing should be also fundamental and innovative now i will make a separate video how to write the uh, write up section now uh, i will discuss what questions they asked me now, first of all this uh, this interview was very hectic for me not because they not because they asked me very tough questions or which i never heard before uh, but uh, first of all what happened uh, they were unable to hear me they were telling that uh, your voice is breaking your uh, there is a echo in the background and you are not properly audible but i am uh, i was in my uh, regular 5g connection with which i generally attend my all interviews and uh, in other interviews uh, no issues was there uh, so i was thinking what to do and i become very much tensed also later i uh, changed my network to 4g open all the doors and windows and the problem resolved up to some extent and they were uh, able to hear me now now first of all they asked me what is my uh, educational background what is my major topic in bsc and what is my topic of interest uh, i said that i like uh, i like uh, protein expression or cell signaling these kind of things now now uh, there was one faculty uh, i don't know the know his exactly name but uh, in that interview their voice was also breaking and i was not clearly listen i i, I could not clear, clearly listen what they were trying to say uh, and, and the faculty uh, who asked me questions the accent was something like Br british or Am american and the voice was also breaking and i was not in fact able to clearly understand what questions he is asking now as far i as as, as i could understand uh, he was first telling me about some experiment of uh, which was performed in 1970s or 60s which is which was the first experiment uh, performed on uh, cloning uh, in that experiment uh, one scientist uh, removed the nucleus from a cell and transplanted that nucleus in a enucleated cell uh, in a cell from which the nucleus was removed and uh, formed a clone of the cell and uh, he asked me that uh, have you heard about that experiment i said no i have not heard about that but i uh, heard about the dolly the ship uh, which experiment was performed much later in 1990s now uh, he said that yeah yeah that experiment was performed much later but uh, who the experiment which i am talking was uh, performed around 19 uh, 60s or 70s uh, this experiment was the first experiment on mammalian cell for cloning and then he uh, then he asked then he told that this is not my question uh, my question is suppose you have to suppose you have to clone a cell uh, what uh, what difficulty you would face then he asked that suppose uh, what kind of cell you can choose for cloning uh, i answered that for cloning uh, you have to uh, I have to take a I have to take a nucleated cell uh, therefore RBC won't be a suitable choice and uh, after that uh, he uh, told that uh, so you can take any cell uh, which is uh, which has nucleus mm, I, s I said that uh, no I cannot take any cell then he asked if you have to you have to perform cloning uh, using T cell 
uh, will it be effective or the organism will be viable or not uh, i told that uh, whenever it is a t cell there is several epigenetic program like uh, the genes are modified accordingly uh, at the same time vdj recombination also occurs in that cell uh, therefore uh, many important genes which perform physiological functions will be inactive or silenced in case of t cell uh, therefore the organism which will be which will will be produced by cloning uh, won't be viable or won't be alive i think uh, then he asked okay now after that uh, there was another faculty one ma'am uh, he asked me question uh, first he asked me do you like animals i said yes ma'am i like animals mm, then he asked apart from human being what animal you like the most uh, then uh, this question i i didn't expect from her uh, but i thought that uh, uh, i have read several experiments regarding to drosophila related to drosophila in my books uh, therefore if if he uh, asks ask any if she ask any question related to drosophila i may answer answer to this answer to that question to her question and uh, uh, i told that ma'am i uh, like uh, drosophila because i read about uh, this fly in my books and several experiments related to it then she asked me uh, what is the most diverse uh, group uh, i told that uh, arthropod is the most diverse phylum and among among arthropods insect is the most diverse uh, most diverse uh, group or most diverse uh, class is the class insecta then uh, then she asked what insect is the most diverse i told that ma'am i know that insects are the most diverse but among insect which insect is most diverse i currently cannot remember i don't know mm, then she asked okay okay do you heard about have you heard about beetles uh, i said that yes ma'am i heard about beetles and they are coleopterans uh, then she told me uh, can you draw a beetle in your notebook <laughs> i was not prepared for that uh, because uh, as she uh, asked me uh, as the faculty asked me my topic of interest there were nowhere i have told that i like classical zoology or entomology or these kind of things but uh, i just logically thought that for a beetle there would be a head thorax and abdomen and from the thorax uh, there would be three there would be three pairs of legs and two pairs of wings and i just roughly draw a diagram where there was a rounded head a uh, abdomen an abdomen and a uh, thorax in the middle part and from that thorax i just draw six legs and a eye in the head part and showed me i showed that image uh, to the faculty now she asked uh, she told that uh, the thorax part is very broad i don't think uh, any insect uh, will contain this kind of thorax uh, then okay then 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 she asked me uh, okay do can you say is there any coordination between the uh, legs of the beetle or how a beetle uh, walks uh, um, i i said that yes there must be coordination between the legs because if one leg tries to move forward and another leg tries to move backward then the uh, beetle won't be able to move then uh, she asked me what kind of coordination would be there like the legs on the one side of the uh, one side of the beetle will move together and uh, after that the le legs on the other side will move together or some or, or what i i said that yeah there is a possibility that the legs which are present on the one side of the beetle may move together and after in the ne in the second step the mm, uh, the legs on the other side uh, first the uh, legs on the left side will move forward and after that the legs on the uh, right side may move forward and this will help the beetle to move to move then she asked uh, can you say if, uh, what problem the beetle might face uh, with this mechanism mm, and then i thought and told that uh, if the legs on the one side remains uh, remains stopped and the legs which are present on the other side moves then there is a possibility that the beetle might rotate and cannot able to move at all uh, after that she asked me okay so what another possibility you may think then i told that uh, there are three pairs of legs maybe the first pair 
will help the beetle to move at the first time and after that the second pair will help to move forward and uh, after that the third pair uh, so there might be a possibility that each pair works alternatively and help the beetle to move so uh, i was not at all clear of how beetle wa works or what, what is the working mechanism or coordination between the legs i was just trying to logically think what might be the uh, mechanism and just answering now for the for these particular questions uh, she was uh, I, I was talking into the question for more than 6 to 7 minutes and she was she was uh, uh, she was very patient and uh, uh, she was also very friendly and patient and uh, she was eager to listen from me what uh, what i um, i think about it and what answer i will give to her now after that she asked me okay okay uh, you read uh, more in more detail about how it works i said okay ma'am uh, i will read uh, then and then she asked me uh, if you have to suppose suppose there is a beetle uh, who flies for 150 centimeter what will be the speed of the beetle uh, do you need any additional information i told that yeah ma'am for calculating the speed i also require the time in how much time the beetle flies and uh, after that i will divide the distance by the time and i will get the uh, get the speed of the beetle uh, then she asked me okay so you will require the time uh, i said yes ma'am uh, then she told uh, suppose i give you speed of 1000 1000 uh, beetles 1000 beetles i i give you uh, speed of 1000 beetles and you have to uh, draw a distribution of the speed of the beetles so how would you draw the distribution now similar kind of question uh, i was asked in the tr for mumbai interview uh, Mm, they asked me to draw a distribution of the height of the plant. Now, uh, uh, I, I answered that uh, as I have the as I have the speed and the number of beetles with that particular speed, I can plot the plot, plot, plot the data in a graph. Uh, in the in the x axis, there will be the speed, and in the y axis, there will be the frequency. That is the number of beetles with this particular speed and I may get a normal distribution where the maximum number of beetles uh, will contain a medium medium speed and the speed the, the, the number of beetles with very less speed and the number of beetles with very high speed will be minimum and the number of beetles with the uh, with the medium value of the speed will be maximum and I draw a graph and uh, she uh, told me to show the graph, how would be the graph and I showed her the graph. Uh, so th this question, so th this was broadly my interview and uh, this question they asked me. Now I was not at all confident that I, I would be selected because they asked me literally no questions from a topic of interest and they, they asked no questions from cell signaling, molecular biology, this kind of things and uh, I was very much sure that uh, my interview was very bad and I won't be selected for the second round of interviews but my result uh, the, the result was out uh, the previous day yesterday and I saw my name uh, in the second round of interview list they called approximately 45 to 50 students for the second rounds and uh, the second round of interviews will be conducted from 19th to 21st May now I have my uh, IIS Bangalore interview on 19th May and JNCSR interview on 21st May and therefore I mailed them that I have two interviews and therefore I am free or available on 28th. Uh, if you kindly arrange my interview on that particular date it will be very helpful for me. Now I have not uh, uh, received any return mail. Uh, they told that yeah we will take care about your availability and your time. So I think that uh, they will allow me to give my interview on 20th now this was all about that so the thing is uh, whenever you are facing a, a question wh which is not from your topic of interest or uh, which which uh, you you have not you are not prepared for don't be panic you just think logically and the portion which you don't know or informative you just say them that uh, sir or ma'am i don't know it currently i will um, look 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 up need further later and uh, which one is logical you just think at that moment and uh, 
and answer 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 them uh, what 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 may be the possible answer and that's it if your logics are not uh, that much wrong uh, you are not uh, you are not randomly telling anything to them then then you will be selected at least my experience uh, my experience tells that if you are logical if you are thinking at that moment if you if, if you have the power to think then they will select you for the second round okay uh, so carry on uh, your preparation and in the next videos i will share in detail about my other interviews like uh, iic bangalore interview iser pune and uh, uh, i have to leave for mumbai today because i have my uh, tr for mumbai second round of interviews tomorrow uh, and fifth tomorrow and onwards uh, so bye bye uh, i am ending this video here in the next video i will discuss another topic uh, take care of yourself uh, carry on your preparation bye bye